Want to customize your SFG20 schedules? Let me show you how. But first, why would you want to do that? Tailoring content in the SFG20 schedule allows you to use your own knowledge of the assets. This will allow you to change the maintenance required based on factors like the age, condition, and importance of the asset to avoid over or under maintaining your buildings. You can tailor content by amending task duration and frequency to improve accuracy for maintenance planning. You can even remove tasks that aren't relevant for your assets and add specific notes for engineers to help them locate the asset and specific parts. If the SFG20 technical authoring team make changes to a schedule that you've tailored, you will be informed and can choose whether to accept the update or not. To tailor a maintenance schedule, open a maintenance regime and navigate to a group, space or facility within it. Navigate to a schedule to tailor, then you can either click the pen symbol on the right of the schedule line or click the three dot menu on the right and select tailor schedule. You can also click a schedule to open it, then click tailor schedule. The schedule tailoring page will open and in the inventory section, specify the number of assets the schedule applies to. You have the option of adding an introduction to the schedule, including instructions relevant to that asset that you want to provide an engineer with. When you start tailoring a schedule, you will find its criticality rating with both a color and a shape. This color coding system enables you to visualize your prioritization of tasks so you can optimize your maintenance. SFG20 tasks assign a rating based on whether the task has a traceable reference to primary legislation. You can customize the task criticality by clicking on the color and choosing from an option in the drop-down menu. Remember that red tasks are statutory and help you achieve compliance. Amending them may result in non-compliance. An orange dot indicates that the field has been amended. You can hover over the dot to display the previous criticality and an undo arrow in case you want to reverse the change. Next to the name of each task, you will find its duration, frequency, unit and skill set specifications. To change them, click on each field. You can amend the time it takes to complete a task by entering the time in minutes. The frequency can be changed by entering a number and choosing a unit from the drop down menu. When tailoring frequencies, you can't perform a red statutory task less often than the recommendation from SFG20. This will help keep you compliant. If a task has zero U as the frequency, it means that you need to define the frequency of the task based on a site-specific assessment. If a task is not relevant to your asset, you can remove it from a schedule by unselecting the tick box next to the task criticality. When you are finished tailoring, click back, which will automatically save your changes. If you want more information on how to navigate Facilities IQ, book a personalized product demo with one of our experts.